my pleasure to join you today in this important and timely conference on commercial forest investment in Kenya. And our intention is to make trees cash crop. So we have trees for conservation, they're important for climate change and ecological, including water supply. But we also want to promote, and our intention, our focus is to make trees in the same manner and to the same extent as coffee, as tea. Sustainability is not about, you know, getting people and having people around and giving them trees for free and things like that. You know, it's about embedding that commercial discipline into it. I am the founder and CEO of Moonlight Initiative. I run an organization called um, Pambe Organics. We mainly deal with uh, honey and honey products in Kwale County. The backbone of our organization is uh, the climate aspect. In the wake of COP26, commercial forestry therefore becomes a clear potential investment in each area and beginning to understand comprehensively the business and impact dimensions for forestry is clearly in UNDP's interest. I think this is a good opportunity that brings all the players together and uh, brings synergies to different partners and also a knowledge platform, which is very important. During the Commercial Forestry Conference, Kenya Climate Innovation Center, KCIC, and United Nations Development Program, UNDP, held an introductory meeting with the 40 selected clients for the recently launched Green Economy Youth Activation Program, GREA. The program aims to help and promote various companies in the commercial forestry value chains. The next six months definitely will be keen to, to tell a good story. Also for you people from your end, we'll also be keen to see what is the progress you've been able to make uh, through these six months. So definitely accountability will be key. We felt it fit for us to host you here. Um, this going hand in hand with this uh, conference that is happening. So. Benjamin here and Felix who are servicing this program and with the others who are working with this career program. Our job is first of all to give you the tools, the knowledge and to inspire you to that journey which I call of having commercial discipline so that then your enterprises can be able to move forward. Commercial forestry is going to impact my business in the sense of I am trying to enlarge the business so my, I don't have the capacity to actually produce all the oils by myself. We just started uh, with KCSC, but I have already seen a lot of goodwill, a lot of uh, um, support in terms of uh, um, sharing code for proposal. Um, KCSC is just starting right now um, to support some technical assistance. Uh, we do sales for sustainability, but our biggest interest is um, the, to find the easiest way to make the community plant these trees. It pains us that there is a lot of idle land in Kenya and yet we are targeting to grow our tree cover. So we are first and foremost trying to aggregate idle land so that we can uh, bring it into the space to do the commercial forestry. Various exhibitors and KCIC clients present at the conference had this to say about the event. All I'm asking myself now is Kenya, when, <laughs> you know? And I'm, I'm putting myself in a position where I'm like, you know, if I already started this, how many pe more people can I draw in so that we can get where other countries like India are? Being incubated by KCIC, Kenya Climate Innovation Center, they have been very monumental in teaching us how to write proposals, how to write concepts, how to deal with the vendors, how to look for the right vendors. Uh, they are exposing us to like this conference. So um, KCAC has been very monumental and I can say that even with the, the youth agenda, the top 35 under 35, they are looking at those of us who are really struggling and doing what needs to be done and we are actually giving the indicators. And for such kind of um, engagements, you'll find that you'll grow and you'll figure out where you'll make your money, you'll branch out, you'll start your own thing. There is money in agribusiness. There is money that can be made and we have to realize the opportunities that are around us. If the opportunities is in planting, don't look at it as a business that your father has to do. But if you do it well, 
it can have money and you can get money. So just realize the opportunities that that also improve the environment that you will get enough money from. When it comes to agribusiness, we are utilizing the products that are available locally. When they go and do employment, maybe we are doing we are more of importing products that will be supplied to the population. But when you do agribusiness, you are growing the economy because you are supplying what the population needs. And as long as you position yourself properly, there is uh, resources, there is uh, economic gain, a lot of economic gain to, be, uh, to benefit from agroforest and forestry. Now, you will ask me, you will make money. What are we going to make? What is UNDP going to make from this equation? Well, it's about the difference that you'll be able to make. I'd also like to thank UNDPA and KCSE in the opportunity that they've given me because uh, we're going to get a lot of uh, learnings in terms of how to, to close the gaps that are within the, our businesses and with that we can grow the business and we can be better economical empower, um, empowerment youths and also we can mentor others that are going to come after us. My advice to young people is they need to humble themselves with all that they have, with, with all the knowledge that they have. They need to humble themselves, identify if you're a leader or a follower, and place yourself well. Are you willing to learn? Are you willing to follow instructions? That's all it takes to succeed in this life. And for me, that has been my biggest stepping stone. We wouldn't be where we are without KCIC. Indeed, wherever we have been and gone and mentioned the name KCIC, doors have opened and good things have come our way. Another thing is that whenever I have called KCIC, they've always pointed me to where I will get help. And they have severally sent me to so many of the webinars that have really broadened my mind in this space. In fact, most of the ideas that Munda is now having are through webinars that KCIC has invited Munda to participate in. So I'm very happy uh, of, with this partnership with the KCIC and uh, we will forever be grateful as Munda for getting KCIC getting us to where we are today. I thank UNDP and KCIC for giving us this opportunity to link up and even to get more information. All I can say is a big thank you and we look forward to working together as a business and empower more businesses, more young businesses and startups to get to the point where we are now.